Apple released a hearing aid mode and a built-in hearing test for the AirPods Pro 2. This means millions of iPhone users now have access to better hearing right from their earbuds. This is a really big deal, but does it actually work? Can these $250 earbuds really replace a hearing aid? Or is this just another overhyped tech feature? In this video, I'll break down how Apple's hearing aid mode works, who it's best for, and who should never rely on it. I'll also show you step-by-step -step how to set them up and test them for yourself. And at the end, I'll share whether I would actually recommend AirPods to my own patients with hearing loss and what you need to know before making your decision. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, founder of Treble Health and doctor of audiology. I've been working with hearing aids for 10 years and today I'll help you understand whether AirPods Pro 2 are a game changer and how they could potentially be used as a hearing aid. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what Apple actually added. The latest software update for iOS 18.1 introduced two major hearing features. First, Apple's built-in hearing test. This test lets you take a self-administered hearing screening using the AirPods Pro 2. Second, hearing aid mode. This turns AirPods Pro 2 into an over-the-counter style hearing device, providing customized amplification based on your hearing loss. Now let's break down exactly how this works. The Apple hearing test is free and built into iPhone settings. Here's how to use it. You follow on-screen instructions to complete a test in a quiet environment. The results are displayed in two ways, your hearing number, which is a simple score categorizing your hearing ability, and the graphical hearing test result, a color-coded audiogram showing frequency-specific hearing loss. After the test, you can apply the results to hearing aid mode, which adjusts the AirPods audio settings based on your hearing loss. Now, this is great for early detection of hearing loss, but there's a potential problem. This is not a full diagnostic hearing test. Unlike a professional hearing evaluation, this does not measure your bone conduction hearing, which can tell us if your hearing loss is caused by your ear or your auditory nerve. It does not measure the middle ear function, which can detect medical conditions like ear infections or eardrum issues. And it does not detect speech clarity in background noise, which is crucial for understanding conversation, not just detecting beeps or tones, which aren't frankly in the real world that much. If you suspect you have more than just mild hearing loss, I'd really recommend that you see an audiologist for a full evaluation and not just rely solely on the AirPods. Now let's talk about the hearing aid mode. This is what everyone is excited about. Once you've taken the hearing test, you can activate the hearing aid mode, which allows AirPods Pro 2 to make sounds louder based on your hearing ability. For example, if you have a dip between 2000 and 4000 Hertz, the AirPods can increase those incoming frequencies to make speech sound more clear in your ears. Here's what it can also do for you. Automatic volume adjustments to enhance speech. Hearing adjusted Bluetooth streaming for calls and media. Manual audiogram input. If you've already had a professional hearing test, you can enter your audiogram into the iPhone Health app and apply it to your AirPods. This sounds great, right? And it really is for the right person, because in my opinion, this is not the same experience as a high quality hearing aid. Here's who the AirPods Pro as hearing aids are best for. First, people with mild to moderate hearing loss. If you just need a slight boost in volume, this might work very well for you. Second, those who need occasional help with speech clarity. If you struggle to hear in meetings, while watching TV or on phone calls, this can be helpful. And third, people looking for an entry-level budget-friendly solution. At around $250, AirPods Pro 2 are cheaper than most other over-the-counter hearing aids on the market. And anyone who knows they have hearing loss, but they're not ready for real hearing aids, but they might want to take a first step. I've got the AirPods Pro 2 right here, and I thought I'd just try it on my ear to show you how it looks. As you can see, AirPods stick out, they have this bright color, and they're very noticeable on the ear. You can't really see them from behind too much, but from the side, very visible. A few points here. First, are we at the stage in society where if someone walks up to you wearing AirPods, you're going to think that it's normal or okay if you're just in conversation? I don't think so. My bet is that that's not the case. My bet is that for the foreseeable years ahead, if someone has pods that are completely blocking their ear, we're going to assume they're listening to music or a podcast and they can't hear us. It's gonna start like this. Hey, are you, can you hear me right now? And even if they say yes, you'll sort of have your doubts. You'll be thinking they're listening to music or a podcast and 
you'll just be a little annoyed that they're not paying full attention to you. So maybe these AirPods Pro are just best when you're at home watching TV and you need the volume turned up just for you, but not for your spouse. Maybe if you're at a restaurant with your family and you explain to them, hey, I'm gonna put these on, they actually help me hear, but I'll still be able to hear you. It's almost like anytime someone uses them as a hearing aid in front of someone around them, they have to preface it by saying, hey, I'm using my AirPods as a hearing aid. I don't have music, I'm not watching YouTube, and I'm actually listening to you. These make me listen to you and hear better. That could work, but who wants to actually communicate that to everyone they speak with? So for that reason, I think these are good in situations, but for someone who has a significant difficulty hearing, I just don't really see these being utilized that much. Additionally, they block your ear canal, and that creates something called the occlusion effect. As an audiologist, this is what we learn in the first year of, of grad school, which is you don't want to close your ear canal if you only have hearing loss in the high pitches or the high frequencies. A vast majority of people with hearing loss only have it in the high pitches, the high frequencies. So does plugging your ears all day with these AirPods make sense? I would say no, it does not. So if you need to hear better for most of your day, for multiple hours of your day, I don't think AirPods Pro are really going to be the right fit. Now don't get me wrong, I love AirPods, but as hearing aids, there's some real problems that I just don't see them surpassing anytime soon. If someone was looking for over-the-counter hearing aids at a similar price point, there's other devices that look more closely like hearing aids and will not bring conversation and attention to your ears. So I think that's a better fit. Uh, but of course, if you already have AirPods, then we wanna give these a try to see what they can do to help us hear, right? You can see I have the AirPods Pro 2 right here in my hands. Um, I opted for the blue case and an accessory to keep them in my ears. And I also got Treble Health engraved on the case. Let's go. I love that. So there are some limitations to these devices as hearing aids. And this is where it's important to pay attention. Um, I don't recommend AirPods for anyone in these particular situations. First, people with moderate to severe levels of hearing loss should not use AirPods Pro 2. These devices don't provide enough amplification to get what you need for that significant amount of hearing loss. Second, anyone who needs all day use. AirPods Pro 2 only last about six hours per charge, while real hearing aids typically last 12 to 24 hours easily. For people who are really struggling with their hearing loss, I don't think AirPods Pro 2 are going to cut it. They don't meet your needs, and you'll likely need some professional hearing aids with an audiologist to fine tune them for you. That'll match your specific hearing loss and get you much better results. AirPods are very limited in their fine tuning options. Additionally, if you experience tinnitus, I don't like to plug your ear with the AirPods Pro 2. They occlude the ear, so not my top choice. And if you have tinnitus ringing in the ears, ear pain, dizziness, or sudden hearing loss, those require medical evaluations before using any amplification device. While Apple's hearing aid feature may provide some benefit for tinnitus sufferers, it lacks the personalized sound therapy options found in dedicated tinnitus treatment devices like ours at Treble Health that you can see on the screen right now. So is Apple's hearing aid mode a breakthrough? At Treble Health, we believe this is an exciting development, but it's not a replacement for professional hearing aids. And here's something worth considering. There's speculation that Apple will release the AirPods Pro 3 this fall, and they're expected to come with even better hearing aid features. So if you don't already own AirPods Pro 2, it might be worth waiting to see how the next generation improves on this technology. That said, if you already have AirPods Pro 2, there's no reason not to give this a shot now. Just make sure your iPhone is updated to iOS 18.1 in the software update so you can access the hearing aid test and hearing aid mode. Here's my final take. AirPods Pro 2 can be a useful tool for mild hearing loss and occasional amplification needs but if you need serious long-term hearing treatment, traditional hearing aids are still the better option. They're sleek, lightweight, longer battery life, and they're designed for exactly that reason. If you already have AirPods Pro 2 and wanna try this feature yourself, I've put together a step-by-step -step tutorial to walk you through the entire setup process, from taking the hearing test to activating hearing aid mode and adjusting the settings for the best results. Click that link in the description to watch that tutorial now and I'll guide you through everything you need to know. 
And if you're curious about how AirPods compare to other OTC hearing aids, check out my next video where I break down the best OTC hearing aids on 2025. Just click the link on the screen right there to watch that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.